The list began after her first attempt. Me and Dad were in the car and he was trying to explain why my mother didn't want to live anymore. I remember asking lots of questions, but eventually he told me to shut up, turn the radio on and smoke with the window down. At the hospital, Mum saw me and said, not him. And so I sat in the corridor next to an old couple who gave me a carton of juice and some chocolate from the machine. Dad was in with her for ages. And then, when he came out, he stood with his arms folded whilst the doctor talked to him. He looked at me for a second, then went back to staring at the floor. After a bit, he shook his head and walked away, and the doctor came over and squatted in front of me and told me that Dad was just going to get some fresh air and he'd be back in a minute, even though he wasn't. The doctor smiled at me and asked if I wanted anything, but I said no, because I'd been bought some chocolate and juice from the machine. Although that's when I had the idea, I didn't do anything until later when Mum was back home. In those days, Dad had a room with all his records in, and he'd sit in his big chair and smoke with the windows closed. Usually he'd play the records out loud, but sometimes, especially during this time, he would put his head in between those huge headphones and sit with his eyes closed. Sometimes, if I felt brave, I'd creep in and watch the back of his head. It was around this time that I started the list. I believed that my mum was surrounded by things that would make her really happy that they should stop noticing them. I began to write down everything that was wonderful about the world. After much deliberation, I decided my list should be presented in no particular order. There was no way of saying that, for example, walking barefoot on hot sand was any better than Neil Simone's voice. Although, being only six, the list was largely composed of things I thought were really good and not things that my mum would necessarily agree with. Number one, ice cream. Number two, staying up past your bedtime and being allowed to watch TV. Number three, Christmas. Number four, people falling over. Number five, banana slides. Number six, water fights. Number seven, things with stripes. Number eight, ladybirds. I kept the list in my pocket and added things as they occurred to me. Eventually, when the list was eight pages long and had 315 things on it, I left it on Mum's pillow with the title, Every Brilliant Thing. 